Hello guys, aromaticity is the property of a molecule that imparts extra stability to that molecule and this enhanced stability or aromaticity is because of certain structural features that we will discuss today. So the prerequisites or the requirements for a compound to be aromatic are that it should have a cyclic structure meaning its structure must have a ring system. That ring must have conjugated electrons and these conjugated electrons may be pi electrons or non-bonding electrons. And you know what a conjugated system means. You can find that in a video that we have already uh, recorded. You can find the link here. The third requirement for a molecule to be aromatic is that that cyclic structure or ring must be absolutely planar. Next is it must have sustained ring current. Now current is the flow of electrons. That means that the electrons within the ring must be delocalized and when electrons are delocalized you know that they can change their positions from one atom to another or from one position to another so when electrons are delocalized it means there must be a sustained ring current in the system so if a ring uh, does have this ring current it means it is uh, aromatic or it has some property of being aromatic and you already know that when there is a conjugated system so the electrons are usually delocalized so these two are usually connected now these delocalized electrons mm, must be in a specific number and that is defined by the Huckel's rule Huckel's rule say that the delocalized electrons must be in 4n plus 2 numbers now n is any number for any whole number starting from 0 of course so if n is equal to 0 then 4 into 0 plus 2 is equal to 2. If n is equal to 1, 4 into 1 plus 2 is equal to 6. If n is equal to 2, then 4 into 2 plus 2 is equal to 10. And if n is equal to 3, 4 into 3 plus 2 is equal to 14. So, if a cyclic system has a conjugated system of pi or n electrons and they are delocalized and those delocalized electrons are 2, or 6 or 10 in number and in addition that ring is also planar then we can say that the molecule may be aromatic but these delocalized electrons must also form a closed loop meaning that these electrons must form a closed loop when they are delocalized within that ring or within that cyclic structure Finally, all the delocalized electrons must be occupied in the bonding molecular orbitals of that molecule. And you know how molecular orbitals are formed. Uh, again, you can find a link uh, to that video here. And there are different types of molecular orbitals uh, formed. Uh, they may be bonding or anti-bonding or non-bonding. So in case of aromatic molecules, all the delocalized electrons will occupy or will be placed in the bonding molecular orbitals only, meaning there will be no electrons in the non-bonding or the anti-bonding molecular orbitals. So let's explain this with the help of uh, an example here. Benzene is a very well-known molecule and let's see if it is aromatic or not. So the first requirement, it has a cyclic structure. Yes, it has a ring having six carbon atoms. Is this ring planar? Of course, it is planar because it has six carbon atoms and all the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized. And you know that the geometry around an sp2 carbon is trigonal planar. So all these six carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized because you can see the double bonds inside the ring and that is why all the carbons are sp2 hybridized. So of course it is planar. But this planarity does not apply to any groups that are attached to this benzene ring or any other molecule. 
does it have a conjugated system of pi or n electrons of course there are no non-bonding electrons here so there are only pi electrons and you know that when we have an alternate double and single bond in the structure it means the system is conjugated so yes it does have conjugated system of pi electrons does it have a sustained ring current meaning are these conjugated electrons delocalized so yes they are we can uh, we can show the molecule of benzene in two different forms which we call the Kekulé structures and you can see the double bonds or the pi electrons have shifted or they have changed their position it means they are delocalized and they can change their position within the ring so they can move and when electrons move current is produced so it does have a sustained ring current does it follow the Huckel rule yes it does how many electrons are involved in delocalization in benzene there are three double bonds so a total of six pi electrons are there and six of course is a Huckel number so it does follow the Huckel rule do its delocalized electrons form a closed loop yes they do you can see there are six carbon atoms in three double bonds so all the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized all are double bonded and so when these electrons uh, they shift their positions or they change their positions they form a closed loop and the delocalized electrons of benzene occupy its bonding molecular orbitals we have discussed this part in another video a link to which you can find here that and you can see in that video that all the delocalized electrons or all the pi electrons the six pi electrons of benzene occupy the bonding molecular orbitals only so these are some of the requirements for molecule to be aromatic uh, I hope it helps and uh, we'll discuss some more examples in the upcoming videos so stay tuned thank you so much for watching